Miss Scalette. I'm Miss Caesar. We're from the Pleasantville Public Library Branch. We are going to show you how to dye pasta to make craft projects. Um, we're going to talk about supplies and show you our finished product and how to mix the solution. Yes, we are. Okay, we start with supplies. Supplies. We have different types of pasta. This is penne noodles. Bow tie, elbow, elbow, rigatoni, and shells. We chose penne pasta to do our necklaces that you can see here and over here. And to get that beautiful color, we used gel food coloring. Which is this one. Yeah. We do have to give them a warning. When we try to use the blue, remember that pasta is yellow, yellow and it turns and green. green. So we have a very dark, bold, rich color of green. All the colors mixed together make black. Red comes out very bright. Right. Of course, yellow. And yellow we can just brighten up with a squirt. And we mix that with either white vinegar, believe it or not, 70% hand sanitizer, sanitizer, or rubbing alcohol at 70%. Alcohol. So um, we also need a gallon freezer bag, a tray to dry the pasta, and about a half a pound of pasta per color, uncooked, dry, right. and you cannot eat this pasta. This Again, is just kids, for crafts. It's not eatable. Not edible. So, Caesar, you want to take it away and just show them how to... Sure, to dye your pasta, your choice. What pasta do you want? I'll go with the rigatoni. Rigatoni. Okay. We can put the whole bag of rigatoni. And we'll be using the green one. So, it's up to you guys how dark you want it or how bold you want it. Okay, that's enough, and we'll be using alcohol. Okay. Okay, and then the best part is just shake it. Also need more green. The more squirt of the gel gives it a richer, bolder color. Shake it, and then let it dry for 10 to 20 minutes. Perfect, right. right. Okay. Yeah, that looks nice. That's a nice green color. Sure. Um, we can do that on and off, just make sure it's just dry. You can use a hair dryer to blow it down. To too. blow it down. And you can make jewelry, ornaments, 3D paintings. You can mix your own colors with different shapes and, and colors to make different pastel colors, bold colors, light colors. And you can make a whole assortment of crafts for the whole family. So, next thing we'd like to show you is how to do a Penne or rigatoni necklace. Necklace. With your dyed pasta. Okay. Now we can use a yarn, like this one, or we'll be using today a elastic yellow. I like yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can all use colored or metallic thread. Metallic thread. Suede. Suede. Stretch lace. Stretch lace. Okay, so now we'll be doing this crap, which is the what I like in the easiest one. All you have to do is just like you're just stitching it together, all mm -hmm. together. Green, red, turns out like black. Mm -hmm. Then just you can choose whatever color you want. Okay. Sometimes people call these macaroni necklaces or noodle necklaces. Noodle necklaces. And for the smaller kids, rigatoni is probably the easiest shape to, to thread. To thread. The penne makes it a little bit more elegant, but we also have the other shapes with that are can be glued on with the glue gun. With the glue gun. Or super glue. Okay. Then we just tie it in the bag. Adorable. <laughs> and voila. Voila. 
And Caesar, you have another design that you're wearing. Yes. And this one, and on this, you have to use a glue stick. A glue gun. Right. Glue stick. Or the easiest one is make sure, guys, especially kids, it should be with parents, especially using a glue gun. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or the easiest one is use a glue, a uh, super glue, which dries uh, faster. And then you can do this kind of um, necklace. Another one that I like is this one here. You can choose any color that you want. Mm -hmm. And you can string together any shape or size with any kind of thread. So it's a fun way to have a family-friendly good time. If you need any assistance or instructions, email us at the Pleasant Bell Public yeah. Library. Library Branch. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, guys. Thank and you. And see you soon. See you soon.